So tell me, tell me about the show. Tell me what what who sure. what characters you're playing and and what's happening. Well, our episode is called Opposites Attract, and um, I play a character called Jessica. And I'm the opposite of Jessica. Yeah. I'm Ashraf. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a an Why IT are you professional. Opposite? I don't know, because you do massage and. I create software. Yeah. <laughs> I like perpetuating stereotypes, so no no, you know, like I'm quiet, you're a bit I'm yeah. not really quiet but Yeah. But no, we we discover that we're not as opposite as we think we are. Yeah, I think the yeah. oppositeness yeah. is surface level. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yeah. But it all will be revealed yeah. on the episode. And we um we shared a moment in the show. Mm. We don't pass or anything. Do we, we don't pass. It was a moment. Yeah. It was a fleeting moment. But, yeah. um, you found it quite difficult, didn't you? I found it difficult reading uh, reading the that lead part. Up, oh, the lead up. The freaking lead up. The moment. You know that was a one. Sometimes you find me just sitting there thinking about the moment <laughs> that we had to share later on in the day. I was like, it's okay. The moment's just making eye contact. And then Nazim said, yeah, but I'm really bad at that. <laughs> I'm really bad at eye contact. At the eye contact thing. See, I can't really do it. It really ends. It's bad. Like I look for a bit and then I freak out and have to look somewhere yeah, else. We'll do it now. Do it now. Ready? No, you can't do it. Can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's on my resume, my acting resume. Can't do eye contact very well. Sure, it's not just astigmatism. Yeah, maybe medical. it's astigmatism. Maybe might I just medical. have. Yeah, it might be medical. Mm. Anyway, tell me about the writing process. So, how early on were you guys brought in? Um, we came in probably about five or six months ago now. Mm. We did a workshop with Kate Langbrook and Pete. And yeah, basically that just involved me asking a whole heap of questions like, what is halal? What about if you were really hungry during Ramadan and you felt like you were gonna faint? <laughs> can you eat during the day? Just really- or Can you eat a pig if yeah. you're really, if there's nothing else to eat? So we're just yeah, pretty pretty early on, I'd say, and so we basically sat with them for a few hours, a couple of hours, yeah. just talked a lot, and then the next day we came in. Was it the next day? Yeah, there's like one or two days later they'd written the script. And yeah. That's why we went. Just incorporated all this blah blah um, from a couple of days back. And, yeah, really good, impressive. But it was that was that was pretty fun. Kate and Peter are like just sponges. I think they just yeah. picked up. Kate's a bit of a whiz. Langbrook. No, I'm not talking about myself in the third person. <laughs> Strange. Nazim's not too bad either. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about going from stand-up to acting proper. Like you're both. Sorry, have you done stand-up before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're, yeah. Tell me, tell me a bit about that, because that's a, a bit. Are they two different sides of the same coin, or are they different skills? Or what, what are you learning from that? It's. It's hard. It's yeah, I find it pretty it? difficult. Like, I th I, I've, always, I've always been kind of daunted by the idea of like proper drama acting because it's like you know you got to act emotional. You know you can't. You're not playing for a laugh or a response from the audience. So it's harder I find to be straight. Yeah. And then some of the other actors that we've worked with today, they talk about stand up or sketch comedy. Like that's really daunting for them. Yeah. So it kind of makes you feel. A little good about yourself yeah. too, but it's pretty scary for me. But it's kind of like you know, you read the script and you say, "Oh, there's the joke. There's the joke." You know, you can see right where the gags are, but you've got to underplay them rather than you know, if you're doing stand up, it's more like, "So here's the joke." <laughs> Whereas with this, it's just being a bit more mm. through the back door with it. It's yeah, and it's also you know, I think we've both <laughs> that idea of not. I think we've both been embarrassed by the romantic bits. I know, it's so awkward. We get shy. I know, but the director guy, Jonathan's awesome. He's just really good. Like, he knows that we're stand-up people, and I think he kind of uses yeah. that language when he talks to us yeah. about scenes, and oh, I think it's... Like, I feel I've grown as an actor. I, don't, I think you have. I can't remember my life You are much better today than what you were yesterday, because yeah. yesterday you were... Mm. Rough. Yeah, you were really bad yesterday. Yeah, yeah, I was. Oh, you kept talking like this, you know. Like, yeah. There's no, there's no stage <laughs> case. It's a camera, and, you know. Yeah. And there's yeah. little mics. It's hard to hold it like that. <laughs> but, uh, we kept looking into the camera, you know, doing our lines. Yeah, that's what I did. I looked into the camera at one point when I was supposed to be looking at you, mm. and I looked meaningfully. 
at the camera instead. Because there's a theoretical audience out there. So. Yeah, it's like another person. I was waiting for the truck to go by and I'll ask my next thing. Now, how I'll, I'll aim this at Unazim for obvious reasons. How, um, how similar t for, uh, because that family dynamic is really similar to mine in some respects, but really different in others. How, how much of your family di uh, uh, dynamic yeah. is, in, is in those characters? I think the family that we had cast is pretty similar to like my family. I think, you know, that kind of came from the conversations that we had with Kate and Peter. You know, the sister character, Raider, the sort of smart ass, ribbing sister, quite identical to my actual sister. My mum's always telling me off. My dad seems to be the more reasonable kind of character in the house. My stepdad. So it's, you know, it's uh, it really kind of, it, it just felt like the dynamic I'd, I, I've got at home. So it's, yeah, it really seems to, <laughs> to, to be quite realistic for me. Um, and have you brought a girl home to that? No, I never brought a girl home. Um, Cause I, would, I, I think I'm only going to do that if I'm, I'm, I'm going to marry someone. Uh, because it's not worth it might just break yeah, <laughs> break up any potential further relationship. <laughs> my family can be really awkward and just really embarrassing. Maybe that's just me. This is a perception in my head. But, uh, we haven't tested it then, clearly. Yeah, look, I'll, I'll test it out on screen first and uh, see what happens. <laughs> I mean, do you imagine it going a similar way? For instance, if you were to bring, you know, like to to what what happens in in that. In that world, I, th I think so. I think um, my mum would be. My mum's very protective of me as a son, and I think you know she's always suspicious of any girls around me. So yeah, she she would treat any girl like uh, as a hostile, really. And my sister would just be making fun of me. Uh, I think it's just kind of. I would feel really embarrassed, you know, bringing a girl into the house. My mum makes fun of me generally with girls anyway. So it's just in the home. It's just kind of. It would just be amplified. But we'll see what happens in my life, and I'll take cameras. <laughs> I think that's a normal thing for any family. That that first time you bring a partner home to meet the family, it's terrifying, no matter yeah. what your background. I think because you want you want them all to get along. Like I've had boyfriends where the parents and the boyfriend, I just they didn't get along. That's that's crap too, you know. My family just live in Geelong, you know. So. It's not like, <laughs> It can yeah. happen to anyone. That's good. <laughs> well, it's really, I mean, it's familiar for me as well. Like yeah. that whole, I was, I'll get you to talk a bit about that. Is you know that that bringing someone home. What do you feel when you first, you know, the, do you get the butterflies before they come home, or before you bring them home, or what's what sort of goes through your head? Yeah, well, you want your family to like the other person. I remember I had a vegetarian boyfriend for a while, and I brought him to Christmas, and my family were all sheep farmers. And so we brought him home for Christmas and they couldn't get over, you know, what are they going to feed him? It was like this massive ordeal that mum bringing me up for two weeks beforehand, you know, what will he eat? And on Christmas Day, my uncle wrapped up a, a present for my boyfriend and gave it to him and it was a giant pumpkin. And he just said, like, here you go, you're a vegetarian, enjoy that. There's a lot of vegetable in that pumpkin. <laughs> so it was hilarious. So, you know, it could happen to anything. Yeah. Okay, now some of the sort of more curly ones one of the script points is um, euphemisms for condoms what euphemisms <laughs> for condoms have you come across in your career slash dating life slash schoolyard <laughs> euphemisms for condoms yeah I'll start you off the ones that are in scripts are like dingers and frangers have you come what, what, oh, what? that's not really a euphemism well <laughs> oh well it is, in that it's not the word condom. Oh, right, okay. Other words for maybe yeah, I'm... Yeah, like a rain jacket, raincoat. Yeah. I had one the other day. It's not so much a euphemism for condoms, but for somebody who likes, doesn't like using them, it's a bareback barry. I've never heard of that before. Bareback barry? Yeah, it's a bit of a bareback barry. Hmm. This will save you from Father's Day. <laughs> That's right. Oh, I've never heard that. Just kind of makes sense. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Grown-up balloons. Grown-up balloons. I just made that up. Yeah. It's not very exciting, that was it. They're both virgins. <laughs> yeah. Um, so tell me about be being part of the writing process. I mean, is, is this... How does it help you in terms of character and sort of... Hmm. Well, I, I think, like, when you're playing lines with, from any script, you need to know who it is that you're 
you're acting as. And I think when you're part of the writing process, you've kind of created or helped create the persona and yeah. the backstory. So it really helps with being able to play the part. Yeah. It's, there's something about, like, anything that you write, I reckon you perform it better than something you haven't written. Mm. So this has kind of been a nice little little stepping stone yeah. to proper acting. Yeah, it's kind of like helping us comedian people do proper acting. It's but training it's, wheels. It's what, like, Pete said to me, I saw you doing stand-up and I thought you'd be good at this character. And I don't know... He's like, I like that kind of, you know, bogan thing you've got going <laughs> on. <laughs> like, That's just me. <laughs> so, yeah, it's kind of, it's just us. We're just playing ourselves, really. Yeah. <laughs> With different names. Yeah. That's it. That's probably it. Pretty much. Yeah. Okay, and here's the last one. Are you as uh, delightfully naive as your character? <laughs> Bail out. <laughs> um, no, I'm a bit more of a smart ass than my character. And probably... <laughs> erring on the side of being a bit more of a negative Nancy. <laughs> She's a bit of a positive Polly, so yeah. I wish I was that naive though, because you get to ask you get to ask stupid questions, whereas I'm too embarrassed to ask those questions. So, you so know. through this character you can ask whatever the hell you yeah. want. Yeah. She, she doesn't care, she just says whatever comes out of her mouth. Although I do that. Yeah, I do that a bit. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just playing yourself? I'm playing I am playing myself, always fighting for the approval of my family. Um, you know, stand-up comedy isn't exactly what your family wants to write home about. So, yeah, I'm playing myself. No, no, yeah, yeah, I am playing myself.